Welcome back to Melon Kitchen. I've got three dinner ideas to share with you. The first one is a pork belly soup. This is the first time I ever made it and I really enjoyed it. This pork belly is much fattier than bacon. So I'm browning it here. If you're not familiar with pork belly or prefer to use bacon, it'd be a great substitute. I added in some spicy Italian seasoning from Trader Joe's. I've really been enjoying that lately. And of course, my Lawry's garlic salt. If you don't have Lawry's garlic salt, you could use garlic powder with regular salt or a different garlic salt. Then I set it aside and I was going to saute up these vegetables. Red bell pepper, onion, little serrano, and some chayote squash. And if you're not familiar with chayote, it's a very mild squash. It works great in soups. And this combination with um, sautéing it with the pork belly turns out really flavorful. For the broth, I use a carton of chicken broth with some tomato sauce. I put some of the pork belly in the broth and I also kept some out to put on top of the soup. And then I had some kale and zucchini and I added those in the end so that they wouldn't get overdone. And overall, this turned out amazing. I put some cabbage on top, some fresh cabbage for a little extra crunch and a little cilantro. I liked it so much that I may even do it without the pork belly and just do it as a vegetable soup. Next, we had some teriyaki chicken. And I made it in my Instant Pot. I'm getting more familiar with using my Instant Pot and being more confident. And I love how it really makes cooking meat quick and then you can shred it so easily. I use the Mr. Yoshida's teriyaki sauce, which is my favorite. Put some of that in there with some onion and garlic and 15 minutes high pressure. And it turns out really yummy. I also put um, some, just sauteed some cabbage as a side with some leftover white rice and the onions caramelized. They were so tasty. I'm just curious, what kind of teriyaki do you guys like? Chicken, pork, beef? Let me know in the comment section. I'd love to get to chat with you. And then I made some loaded nachos. And this wasn't originally going to be loaded nachos. We were going to have barbecued pork sandwiches. And I just decided I had the chips and went with it. So I just squirted some barbecue sauce in the chicken with a cup of water and it, it really again turns out uh, moist and shreddable let me know if you have an instant pot what is your favorite thing to cook in it have you been thinking about getting an instant pot I have really enjoyed mine so here I've got some corn just some butter salt and pepper and then I use these are canned black beans with the Laurie's garlic salt and butter. And this is what they look like when they were done. And I originally intended on them being sides, but we'll see what, in a minute what I do with them. So these are the chips that you probably saw in my Costco haul. They are the ones that we really like to use for nachos. They're a little more chewy and delicious. And we love those single guacamoles. They're convenient. And then I added some pickled jalapeno, corn, you can see there with the beans, chicken, guacamole, and I had made salsa the night before. And so I added some of that on there, and if you like that salsa recipe, I'll link it in the description. And that was just a yummy dinner. Well, thank you so much for watching my video today. I hope that it inspired you. If you liked it, be sure to give it a thumbs up. And I hope that you'll subscribe if you haven't already yet, because I share recipes grocery hauls and food reviews, and I'll see you next time.